Now then, in the Temple Challenge Cup, we've got a Dutch derby for you. And uh, that means that on the Berkshire station, we have AASR Skull, who beat uh, the University of London B yesterday by two and a quarter lengths. And on Bucks, we have ASR Nerois, also of Holland, who beat Manchester University yesterday by four and a half lengths. And we've seen evidence already this morning, Johnny, of uh, a real depth in Dutch rowing right now. Absolutely, yeah. The uh, the Dutch, uh, what do you mean, not, not, not so many rowers, but the, the quality of the rowers we see is really very high. And goes without saying, really, that <laughs> there will be a lot of feel in this race. Not just a, a Dutch derby, this, this is a, an Amsterdam derby. These guys will uh, compete cheek by jowl on a fairly regular basis domestically. Uh, I suppose there'd be a degree of irony about the fact that they've come across the North Sea and, and they are looking into the eyes of fellas that <laughs> they look into the eyes of on a pretty much daily or weekly basis. But boy, they will want to win. Absolutely, the, the local derbies are always the, uh, the fiercest, aren't they? But uh, yeah, it's slightly strange that they could have probably sorted this out uh, last Saturday, couldn't they? Uh, down on the down on the river there. But uh, looks like we're not seeing such a competitive race here. Um, Nereus extremely strong university historically. We see them at the regatta on a regular basis doing well. They have uh, created for themselves. Quite a substantial advantage here. As I mentioned, they were pretty comfortable winners yesterday, four and a half lengths over Manchester University. And uh, they are going to go forward here to meet either Durham University or Oxford Brooks, who will meet in what should be a, a very competitive race at about half past three, just after this afternoon. Yeah, I think uh, the, the Brooks crew this year is extremely strong. They won, won it last year. They've got another incredibly strong crew. Uh, it'll be a tough race tomorrow between uh, Neris and, uh, and uh, Brooks. <laughs> Talked about conserving energy, and I've no doubt that uh, Neris will be uh, looking to conserve energy for the for the race tomorrow as far as they're, as they're able to. We see, we see they've dropped the rate down. Still rowing long, powerful strokes. Uh, interesting, they're, they're coached by uh, uh, Diedrich Simon, who was an uh, Olympic gold medalist with the Dutch 8 in 96. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with this, this uh, Dutch crew the year they, they won the Olympics. Uh, very impressive crew, not just because of the power, but actually with the efficiency with which they rode. Very loose shoulders, very efficient application of the power. Uh, and we see that, I think, here in this uh, near us crew. That's visible to you, is it? You can, you can, you can identify a, a distinctive style. It, would you call that a, a Dutch style or particular to him, Simon? I think it's a, to a large extent a kind of Dutch style. People say, oh, the Dutch are technically quite good. As you, as you look at their crews, a lot of what I see is, is, is just the looseness or in the shoulders around the front end of the stroke, which then allows the legs and the back to connect to the water. Each nation, to some extent, has its its sort of traits, I suppose, of how you might see you might, you might pick up perhaps Canadian Americans, what power-based stroke. Um, okay, they've just put the rate up a little bit here, putting on a little show for the crowd. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, I think the Dutch historically very efficient way of running. The Royce finished with a flourish. They, as they probably knew they would be, given local knowledge have uh, proved quite substantially too strong for uh, AASR Skoll, and uh, Nerois will go forward to face either Durham or Oxford Brooks tomorrow.